Hello again, Carbalch here. Today we're taking a look at the differences between a couple of Harbor Freight under hood lights. And the video probably looks a little different. It's because it's being shot from a GoPro. Uh, main reason why is because these lights are just really big. And I was having trouble getting everything in the shot. Um, so if it looks a little fish eye, that's why. It's because it's being shot with a GoPro. But uh, today I thought we'd compare these two because I recently had 3D printed a couple mounts and I've been using this Luminar work light here as a light for my toolbox on my truck, which I'll be showing you guys when I do my uh, truck preparedness system uh, video, which is going to be coming out here pretty soon. But I've had this guy for a little while. And you can see it's uh, a lot of really traditional 5 millimeter LEDs. These are pretty cool little lights. Um, they both have, they're both physically similar in a lot of ways. And I'll show you the differences here in a minute, but this uh, information on the overall design applies to both of them, which is why I was making this video because it might be a little hard to tell the differences. You know, I actually had to go into the Harbor Freight store to see the difference for myself because I really couldn't tell from the online information. So that's why I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's actually a pretty big difference and definitely some major improvements. So first of all, both of them have two modes. They have a low and a bright. They have power switches on both sides. Uh, both of them have multiple attachment points. Let's see if I can get it in shot. Again, these things are gigantic. So this has magnets here and these little hooks, which are kind of chintzy, but they, they do all right. And then also the end caps screw off and they have a little bungee cord so you can attach it and hang it from your hood when you're working on your vehicle. So lots of different ways to attach them. Uh, they're, both lights are identical in that respect. So I won't show you on both of them. Uh, let's see if I can get this thread back on. There we go. One of the major differences right off the bat, while they do both take the same charger, they both come with a wall charger and a plug-in charger, which I've got plugged in here. And you can see the charging indicator. This one's been in my truck for a while, so it's probably not fully charged, but it is full brightness. So you can see it's red there while it's charging and it'll go green when it's fully charged. But while it's plugged in, if I click switch, doesn't come on, which is kind of frustrating because using this for an under hood or for a toolbox light like I'm doing, I'd really like to leave it plugged in and charging, um, but that's not really an option because I'd have to unplug it every time. Let me show you some of the major differences. If you look closely, these are surface mount LEDs instead of being individual five millimeters. So this is actually a lot brighter. They don't advertise the lumens of the Luminar work, but they do advertise the lumens on this 845, which, you know, for 100 and 20 LEDs is not that much. However, uh, it is adequate and it provides really good light for working on your vehicle. So let me show you the beam pattern on this one. Now you can see a little bit of modulation on the camera, the flickering, you definitely don't see that in person. Again, it has two modes, but if you look, it's wider spread. However, there is some artifacts you can see moving back and forth on that. And I don't know if you can see them in the camera not really. You can see on the workbench here, it kind of flickers. Not super distracting, but you can see those individual uh, little artifacts, and that appears to actually be built into the tube. Now, I prefer the artifacts over the narrow beam, because this has a much, much wider beam. You can see it's lighting up the whole workspace, where on the Luminar, you basically only get a little tiny patch. So you can see the difference in the brightness there. You can also see the difference in the beam pattern. Another excellent feature of the Braun, which I was really excited about, is it does have the same plug-in back here, even though this one has a even though this one has a little rubber cover, which the other one doesn't. The other one you can see just has an open hole, which is I prefer it to be covered. Uh, the, neither of these lights are water resistant. They specifically say that they're not. And I have had people say that they don't like water at all, so be careful of that. One thing I did just notice too is the batteries, while similar, they're both 3.7 volt lithium ions. This one is advertised as 2,000 milliamp hours. So let me show you that there. Stick into stuff on the side of my workbench. 2,000 milliamp hours. This one's 1,800. Not a huge difference, um, but I mean, that is 10%. So, you know, a little bit of difference there. 
But one of the major differences for me is if we go ahead and bring the charge port back into view here. Try not to whack everything in the world with these long bars in my tiny little shop. I'm going to flop this open here. Plug it in. You can see again the red charging LED. Again, that turns green. These will take about four hours to charge completely. Um, but on this one, it actually turns on when it's plugged in. You can see the two different modes. And you can see the flicker. That's just the pulse width modulation of dimming the LEDs. It's not visible to the naked eye. But on the bright, it's less visible in the camera. And you can see, if I put these two together, a little hard to pick up on camera, but you can see how much brighter the brawn is. Now, the brawn obviously is plugged in while I'm doing that, which is excellent. Um, so that means I can actually plug it in while it's attached to my truck and charge it. So I never have to worry about it being uh, underpowered. So that's the major difference is, as long as the artifacts in the beam, which you can see the little lines there, as long as that doesn't bother you, which it doesn't bother me too much, they get less noticeable the further you get away from it, uh, everything else is better. Um, slightly better run time, better LEDs, brighter, better beam pattern, uh, can work while charging or while plugged in. So excellent upgrade. I like the Luminar just fine. Um, it actually makes an excellent toolbox light and I'll show you some quick night shots and then we'll go into more detail on that when I do my truck system, which is gonna be coming up real soon. Uh, you can see how I have it mounted in more detail and may even talk about how I made the mounts. All right guys, I also wanna show you the difference between the beam pattern and the Luminar work and the Braun underhood LED lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the lights off. Both these light bars will be just above the camera, about six feet away from the workbench. And I'll show you what I mean about the difference in the beam pattern. This is the Luminar work on low and high. And you can see how focused the beam is. All right guys, this is the Braun from the same distance. That's low and that's high. You can see it lights up the entire shop. Now I'm gonna hold both lights next to each other and show you the difference. We're gonna our work low and high. Brawn, low and high. You can see it's an amazing difference between the two lights. So again, on our work, you can see a real tiny beam, even on high. There's the brawn. You can still see a little bit of the waviness, the artifacts in the lens. And there it's on high. Makes a huge difference. You can see how much more usable light the brawn puts out. All right, guys, here's some night shots of the LED work, underhood work lights mounted on my truck's toolbox. It's completely dark right now. I have the Luminar work mounted in the brackets, so I'm going to go ahead and go up there and turn it on both of its modes. And then I'll show you some close ups, and then we'll switch over to the brawn. All right, that was cycling through the modes on the Luminar Works. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out for the Braun. All right, before I switch these out real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the view in the toolbox. So this is, again, still the Luminar Work. You can see I have some mount brackets up here. This is the low mode, that's the high mode. You can see it lights up the toolbox very well and somewhat into the back of the truck. The post sticking up there is the step, tailgate step on my truck. So again, there's off, low, and high. All right, guys, here's the Braun light bar mounted up. I'm going to go cycle it through its modes. It's on low right now. So those are the modes on the Braun light bar. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how it lights up the truck box. So this bracket allows the light bar to rotate up and down. So this is its high setting, that's off. You can see it's really dark out here right now. That's the low setting and the high. You can see it lights up the toolbox very well and actually lights up more of the bed of the truck. Really hard to see at the GoPro, but you can see, hopefully see it lights up more of the tailgate step handle there. Sorry for all the steam in the camera, that's my breath. It's quite cold out here tonight. So that's the difference between the Luminar work light bar and the Braun light bar from Harbor Freight Tools. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your comments and likes, and share if you see fit. Once again, this has been Carl Belcher. Thank you.